What is going on, everybody? If you follow me, then you know that this was going to happen. You knew we were going to have a big dump in the market because it was kind of written on the wall uh, that we were probably going to eat a lot of price action on a lot of alts that we were going to experience a, a significant sort of correction to the downside. The likely target was going to be 59,000 ish, maybe even down as much as 52 or 53 on Bitcoin. So that leaves you asking the question, well, what's next? Well, the next thing would be a reversal once we bounce off the effective area uh, on, on Bitcoin. But in the meantime, we in Luna Classic are bleeding just a little bit, uh, added that zero back in. So now we're at four zeros, uh, 98.07 as of right now. So what will happen next? Well, it's fortunate that you came here because I know everything. I'm always right. So I'm going to tell you exactly what's going to happen. And I'm not going to be right, by the way, uh, for anybody who thinks that I, we're all just playing a game here, right? Not always. Am I? I'm not. Anyway, so let's uh, let's kind of break down what is going on in this uh, market. By the way, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell to be notified of future content. And uh, let's kick this off. So first up, uh, lawyers for Terraform and Duquan say fine should not be closer to $1 million, not to $5 billion. Uh, what they're saying is that based on this disgorgement payment of $4.7 billion, that would have to come from LFG, uh, the Luna Foundation Guard. And that's not somebody who's named in this lawsuit. So there's absolutely no way to get that. And what they're basically saying is that he should be penalized or everybody should be penalized a very minimal amount. So we'll see how that goes. I believe the hearing is today. So we'll probably get some clarity on what is going to happen. Uh, I believe that uh, today is the date where they have this. Now, also, uh, for those of you who don't know, the Fed in the United States is meeting today to talk about rate cuts or rate increases or whatever comes next. So uh, we'll have some information one way or another for you tomorrow. Uh, also, on Terra Luna Classic uh, price action, not really any articles or anything like that addressing anything that we don't already know, um, which would indicate to me that, you know, we're, we're just kind of the everybody's gone to ground, if you will, uh, for this dip. And we're waiting to see what that next spike brings. Now, as far as community goes in the Commonwealth, um, no changes. Everything that we had yesterday. Uh, when you get to governance over here, which is the rules to prevent double network validating. Now, who is voting your conscience and who is voting against your conscience? Well, if you come over to Lunk Dash, it's uh, text number is 12101. Moon Rabbit Validator voted no. Hey, who knew that the, the people that we call the bad actors in this space were going to vote no? Who knew that that was going to happen? Oh, yeah. I think all of us at this point knew that that was going to happen. Uh, but here, here's who we've got voting no so far. Uh, Moon Rabbit Validator voted no. Hexagon Moon Runners voted no. Uh, Modern Joseph. And by the way, uh, Moon Runners had voted yes originally. Uh, and now Lunk uh, with Vito, with uh, no with Vito. Jesus is Lord, Lunk Swap, and POS Node. Abstaining is Kryptonian so far. Again, same people uh, so far. We'll see how this voting process goes. I, I don't like the fact that there are people out here who are saying, hey, you know what we should do? We should allow we should allow centralization, more and more and more centralization. And here's the thing. If any one of these people talk to you about decentralization and they vote no or no with veto, they're lying to you and they're deceiving you in this context because what they're doing is consolidating power. And, and I just want to Imagine if all nodes decided they wanted things a certain way. They have a considerable amount of power. But what if they got Interstellar Lounge? What if they got uh, Jesus is Lord? What if they got a couple of these different companies with large um, voting power and they voted a certain way? Well, then they become a centralized entity. And that's what we're seeking to avoid. So when you say um, when you say that we we, we don't want to prevent this consolidation of power. That's what you're telling is you're looking towards centralization and you're looking control to, to take control of the network. That's my opinion. Am I a genius? Yeah, but that's not the point. The point is, um, it, I'm not a genius, by the way. So, uh, but I think that this means that, you know, we've, we've got a concern and, and you should be concerned about what you're seeing. And I don't know how you're going to vote, but everybody should be voting for it or voting in your conscience. Uh, I'm going to vote yes to prevent that. Um, you know, you vote however you want. If you have a logical reason that doesn't purport to mine, then, I mean, you know, 
we can either talk about it or not talk about it. It doesn't matter. Um, anyway, so moving on here, uh, Lunk Burn. Lunk Burn, not, not a real big change. Price action, uh, you can see right here that we just got this really big dip coming down back into this little range that we ran before. And uh, that looks to me to be um, you know, important that we are continuing our downward pattern. Now, I do think that there's going to be a remarkable correction coming at some point. I just don't know that we're there yet. Uh, Bitcoin, 61,000 right now, about to lose 61,000. Um, total market cap dump on the night is 110 billion all the way down to the 100 MA. So generally speaking, uh, you we bounced off of the 20 MA right here, got rejected. Now we're coming down into this range. Uh, there is going to be a reversal, but at this point, at this moment, uh, the, the the broader market is in mass sell-off mode. So, uh, and that's the the, the European market in the early. U.S. market kind of waking up and doing what they do. Might be some outflows in uh, ETFs or something, but the Hong Kong ETFs have been approved. And once they got approved, then you saw a big dump in the market in the overnights because, you know, by the rumor, sell the news. It's always the same thing. But the news is always people are telling you, oh, it's going to pump. And, and if you saw my video two days ago, you know, I already told you this was going to happen. Let's talk now about the volume. Volume 27%, a little bit of a change. But not a lot, 35, you know, 35 percent up, but 27 million is all we have in volume right now. So that's an indication that retail has kind of checked out for the moment. Market cap 586. Uh, then you have uh, 1.7, 1.756 cents. Uh, you have 18 million in volume. You have 157 million in market cap. Um, so you know we've got some work to do. Our, our quote unquote work is cut out for us, if you will. So um, that leads us to today's project. Before we get started, uh, again, if you like this content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button. If you haven't already, go to Weeks, sign up, and start trading over there, and they're going to give you rewards. Uh, it, there's rewards, by the way, uh, for signing up with me uh, down in the description below. Uh, if you fund your account uh, with it, with enough, then you get uh, a nice little bonus and a nice little reward. KCEX, same thing. Uh, Terra Casino, if you like gaming uh, and risk-based uh, play, then I, I would certainly go check them out. Sponsored to you by Terraport. So, um, uh, or, or I am <laughs> Terraport.finance. So if you're doing some trading, make sure you go over there and check that out. Uh, that's the swap that I'm using right now. And it works better than most of the rest of them and has a better, a better more broad liquidity uh, than the rest of it. But today's project that we're going to be talking about, hamster meme. Um, it's, and, and if you're looking for it, it's at H meme underscore crypto hamster meme. It's a new startup project, a new meme coin, as you can see right here. Um, this is what it is. This is what it looks like. This is the price action on it. Uh, not a lot of price action, low liquidity, low market cap, just getting started, just launched. If you, if you kind of zoom out here, hasn't been around for very long. It's in this sort of meme space, um, uh, just looking for its way around all buys so far today. Small buys, but buys nonetheless. Uh, uh, it's a great opportunity for this ecosystem. And when it expands, when uh, when these ecosystems start to expand, then that's when you really get to see something awesome. Uh, in fact, if you want to, uh, you can go trade it over here at Terraport.finance uh, as well. Uh, if you're looking for Telegram, it's Hamster Meme Crypto, and um, the the description is over here on their uh, Twitter page. So I still call it Twitter, by the way. I, I can't get. I, I try to call it X, but ugh, you know what I mean. So anyway, uh, check this thing out and uh, decide for yourself if this is worthy investment for you. But uh, I would also say that in the event that you are looking to support communities and you're looking to support people in the Luna Classic community, then go to Terraport.finance and buy yourself a little bag of hamster meme. Here's the thing. Uh, for a couple of bucks on every single one of these, you never know what's going to happen. What you're always looking for, what a lot of you are looking for, is that big move. You're looking for that big, gigantic, uh, explosive sort of come up move, right? Well, 100x, 1000x, whatever number you're looking for. Cryptonomy.finance is your venture capital investment fund. If you're looking to launch a project and you need seed capital, contact Cryptonomy.finance today. They have a $74 million investment fund and they processed over $10 billion in the last five years. So far, guys, on my flexible account, I've earned 0 0.001 Bitcoin. On my fixed account, this is where it gets interesting. We're going to make another deposit here, 0.5 
Bitcoin. We're going to do this for 12 months again. We've created another staking protocol with a half of Bitcoin for the next one year. Checking my Ethereum holdings, you can see that by the end of this vesting process, I will have 3.23 Ethereum more than the three that I put in. And the most important thing, gentlemen, ladies, the launch pad. The launch pad is still producing significant yields on every launch. My accrued interest so far, a little bit over $109,000. Can't stress to you enough, guys. Check out cryptonomy.finance today if you need venture capital or if you just want to earn some yield off of your holding. These are the places where you get, where you get that. You know, you put in uh, 20, 50 bucks, something like that. You know, you just you become a you become a small holder in it, and then something special or magical happens uh, on that blockchain and that ecosystem, and you're one of the first meme coins. And then people are like, oh my god! And the next thing you know, it starts to explode, and then boom, you've created some value for your investment. So um, if you decide that that's your risk on, then uh, h at h meme underscore crypto is the place to go to check that out and uh yeah it could be fun you know you never know you never know what's going to happen uh, as always do your own research figure out for yourself what your risk tolerance is mine 50 100 200 you know what i mean like i i keep mine low because these are meme coins and and they have you know there's there's always an opportunity here there's nothing bad against the developers sometimes these things don't work you know uh and we're still at the foot of the bull market we haven't really got into it yet some of these things won't make it. Uh, Hamster Meme says that they will. So uh, if that's the case, then I could see a huge explosion on almost all of these, not just Hamster Meme, but all of these in this ecosystem. So check them all out. Uh, do your own research, figure out what, what your investment risk is. And uh, remember, this is not financial advice, but I'm always right. You guys have a good day and we'll talk to you again very, very soon.